I'm Rose Hudson Wilkin, chaplain to the Speaker of the House of Commons, an honorary canon at St Paul's Cathedral, and vicar to two churches in the London borough of Hackney. As I journey to and from these various places of work across a very crowded city on an even more crowded transportation system, I find myself reflecting on the Advent journey we embarked on four weeks ago. The preparation for that most momentous occasion in world history. We learn from Holy Scripture that Mary, heavily pregnant, jostled with the crowds as she made her way to Bethlehem. When she arrives, she discovers that she would be homeless. This is nothing short of a disaster as she was heavily pregnant and about to give birth. Recently here in Parliament, we marked Parliament's week. During that week, we celebrated women's contribution to Britain's democratic life. We reflected on the cost of the very first women, indeed the cost of those women who dared to dream and actively engage in changing the law, enabling women the right to vote and therefore being eligible to engage politically and contribute to the decisions that impacts on the life of the wider community. Today and for the rest of this week, we celebrate Mary. It was because Mary had the courage to say yes, why the ultimate story of Christmas became a living reality. Down through the ages, following in Mary's footsteps, many courageous women, believing that they were equally made in the image of God, responded faithfully to his call responded without seeking permission from others and through their faithfulness lives and history has been changed. Like Mary's story, the temptation by those in power, positions of power, is to put women in the background. Like Joseph's experience, there is a lack of understanding of what God is doing and continues to do. Our response, like Mary, is simply to respond to God's initiative with faithfulness. As we journey through this very busy city, caught up in our own busy lives, as you catch a glimpse of the dome of St. Paul's Cathedral, may you experience this as an invitation. For visitors, may this be a journey of discovery. For people of faith during the season of Advent, May this be a journey of pilgrimage. Whatever the journey that leads us to St. Paul's this Advent season, may it open our eyes and hearts to this new thing that the Lord is doing. Women, God entrusted us with the living word. No wonder Mary sang the Magnificat. Let's sing the Magnificat with her. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior.